Hello, Sudoku friends, and welcome to today's El Pais expert Sudoku puzzle. Today being the 24th of March 2024, we will get started right away. And what will we start with? We'll start with a one that goes here because of these two ones blocking. So that was pretty easy. A six blocks over here and up here. One of these is a six. So we're gonna have a six either here or here. We have a nine blocking up here. Therefore, one of these is a nine blocking up. So both of these nines block up like so. So this must be a nine. And we now know that these three squares have got to be a four, eight, and a two. 2 and 8 block across here, so here's a 4, 8 blocks across here, so here's a 2 and the 8, therefore must go here. This 2 blocks up, this 2 blocks across, here's another 2, and we're going to have a 2 here or here now. Here are 4, 8 and a 6. We talked about the 6 already, I think. Here, three, six, and a seven, three blocks down. One of these is a three, but that is not that important at the moment, I think. We need a seven, four, eight, and a nine here. Nine we talked about goes here, here, seven and eight. This is a four, nine. But I can't get much closer to that yet. That's unfortunate. Four here, here, obviously, because of these two fours blocking. One must go here, here, because this one blocks here and this one blocks here. So one here, here. And that means that an eight for this column has only two squares. This is square and this is square. And the ones in row nine are also restricted. We said that one of these must be a one. So that means that none of these can be ones. We also have a one blocking down here. So it turns out that only these two squares can be ones. Maybe that will be some handy information for later. Meanwhile, I've been overlooking that these twos block like so, and that here is a very easy two. I should have found that ages ago. Anyway, we found it, and we will continue with the two blocking here and here and here. So therefore, we have a two here. These twos block like so. Another two goes here. Can we do more twos? I think we can. We have a couple of twos blocking up. Therefore, we have a two here. And that's the last one for today. We got a one and a nine blocking here. We got a one and a nine blocking here. So one and nines go in two of these three squares. That might be worth keeping in working memory. So this square is restricted. It must be a three or a seven. I'll explain why. For these squares here, we need to find a three, seven, obviously, and a four and five. We got a four and a five blocking here. So this is a three, seven. And we also have a three blocking here and here. So I'm back to the one nine. That must go here, here, or here. There's something going on here that I'm not seeing. So I'm not getting any further with that. I have a couple of sevens blocking here. So this, of course, is a seven. But we can get on with the sixes now, because now we have these two squares filled. And this six blocks down. We know that one of these is going to be a six blocking up. This six blocks up, this six blocks across. We know one of these is a six blocking across. So here's where the six has got to go. 
we can find a one for this square. And here's how that goes. We have a one blocking across. So one of these is a one blocking down. We have this one blocking down. We have this one blocking across. So here's a one. We also agreed earlier that one of these must be a one. Now it's clear that this is where it goes. Three, four, five, six here. Can we finally do something? Four, five, this is a three, six. Uh, six blocks down for, no, we can't. We still can't do anything with that. I'm seeing something going on in these four squares. And uh, what I'm seeing is that these must be a four, seven, and these must be a three, eight. And it's a little obscure, but look at the seven here. That definitely forces a seven in, into one of these two squares. Now we've got two fours blocking here as well. So four and seven must go here, and therefore we have a three and an eight pair here. Now, since one of these is a three, and we have a three blocking over here as well, and this is a three blocking up, we know that this must be a three. And we also know that an eight blocks up and one of these is an eight blocking across. So this has got to be an eight. And since these are four and seven, it follows that these must be a five and a nine. This goes to nine blocks here, this nine blocks here and this nine blocks here. So we have a nine here. What about the five though? Five ghost five blocks here, this five blocks here. No, that's still no good. More importantly, though, is that this square now is pretty bare. And I think it must be a four. It must be a four because we need to find a four, six, and an eight for these squares. And we have a six and an eight blocking here. So this is now a four, which blocks down. We have a four blocking over. Therefore, this is a four. And we have a four here now. These are four, seven, remember? Therefore, this is now a seven. And this is now a four, which blocks down. Two fours block across. This four blocks down. Here's a corner four. Can we do more with the fours now, finally? I think we can. One of these had to be a four. This four now blocks here. Here's a four. Three, eight. Therefore, a one, nine, and a five here. Surely there is a quick fix to that. I'm just not seeing it. Wow, what I am seeing is that a one blocks here, therefore we have a one here blocking up. We have a one blocking over here and here. Here's a one. Now a five and a nine for these squares. And also a five and a nine for this and for this. And therefore an eight and a six here. We need a one for this square for the simple reason that this one blocks here and this one blocks here. A five and a six for these, five and six. Very elusive. This square cannot escape any longer though. Must be a nine. And these therefore a seven and an eight. Here we need a three, six, and a seven. We have a six and a seven blocking here. This is a three and a six and a seven here and here. Six, however, blocks down, giving me a seven here and a six here. Therefore, we have a six here and an eight here and an eight here and a seven here. Nothing magical about that. Now, this is a seven. These were three and eight, remember? The three now forces an eight to go here and the three here. That in turn blocks down, this blocks over, this blocks up. Here's the three. The last three squares here must be a five, nine, and an eight. Nine blocks over here is a nine, five and eight. Eight blocks up, five here, eight here. And this has got to be a nine now giving me a nine here and a five here because we analyzed that already. 
the five also must go here and there are four here. Here we're looking for, I think a six and one more a five, six blocks. So here's a five, here's a six, five blocks, five blocks, five goes here. And here we're now looking for a six and a three, three blocks down, six has got to go here and three here. Now a six and a seven, oh, we got the six. I'm already ahead of myself. This is a seven and this must be a three, six or a nine. We got a three and a six blocking. So here's a nine and therefore a three and a six here. Three blocks down, six here and a three here. That's it. Thank you for watching this LPE's expert puzzle. See you back here again soon, I hope. Bye for now.